Hello everyone, back to today's first video, doing 5D forecast for today's first video. As always, on a Wednesday, we're having a detailed look at weather for the coming five days. Uh, this afternoon, we'll have a look uh, beyond the five-day forecast period, uh, sort of extending out to the seven to ten day time frame. Uh, and Bayesian Climate Centre is back online as well this morning, so we'll have a look at weather for the next 40 days with the Bayesian Climate Centre uh, model. Now, very good on Friday forecast, so we've got some changes coming up for the uh, scheduled updates at the weekend. If you've been following the winter updates, you'll know that we did the seventh winter update on Sunday, and we're going to do the eighth winter update uh, two weeks on Sunday. Uh, and this Sunday, we're going to do the uh, second seasonal model roundup, getting Something like 11 long-range models together and seeing what they are all showing. Well, there's been a change to that plan. So now the um, second season model roundup will be on Saturday after the weekend forecast. So weekend forecast on Saturday is going to be released earlier than normal, early in the morning, probably around 10 o'clock. And then around midday, something like that, we will release the uh, second seasonal model roundup. Uh, which means the 8th winter update will actually be on Sunday. So essentially we're going to do an extra uh, we're going to do an extra winter update this season, just because there's so much uh, to discuss. Got loads more to talk about in terms of uh, wet September analogues, and also been some very interesting developments, uh, or there are at the moment some very interesting developments across Siberia in terms of Siberian snow cover. Uh, so there's going to be a lot to discuss, and that means that the eighth winter update has been brought forward to uh, this Sunday, which means the second seasonal roundup will be on Saturday. Hope you're able to follow all that. Uh, I'll keep talking about it over the uh, next few days as we approach the weekend. Um, so better get on five day forecast, and we're going to begin with a radar picture. Not much to be seen. We've really. got some showers across the southwest of Scotland, come down to Northern Ireland. Otherwise. It is mostly dry. It's quite a nice day, actually, across many parts of the country today. We're still just about hanging on to the warmth in the south, but it is very slowly draining away. And that's really going to be the story over the next five days, as the warm October weather that we've had for much of this month is pushed away, and we see cooler air coming down from the north. So for the rest of today, we're going to find this area of low pressure just here, bringing some shower rain to the north of Scotland, a few showers elsewhere across Scotland and Northern Ireland, but large parts of the country will be dry today, with a mix of sunny spells and variable cloud, really quite a pleasant uh, autumnal day. Temperatures are quite chilly in the north, ranging around 8 degrees across the far north of Scotland, but still warm, in the south at 17 degrees, that's very warm really uh, for the 25th of October. Overnight tonight we'll have further sh showery bursts of rain across northern Scotland. We can also develop some uh, light patchy rain across uh, parts of western Britain, so maybe across West Wales down to South West England, some parts of Ireland as well. Otherwise a reasonably dry night, there'll be a mix of clear spells, variable cloud, and we may get some mist and fog patches forming tonight as well through parts of Wales and Midlands. Uh, I wonder if those could be quite dense, actually, if I have some dense fog patches around uh, by morning. Temperature's still really mild in the south, uh, falling no lower than around 12 degrees uh, Celsius across southern coastal counties. But in the north, it will be cooler uh, up there. Now, through the course of Thursday, the area of high pressure, that which has been sitting to our south and east in much of October, and bringing up these southerly winds, is starting to reposition itself out towards the west. So we're slowly now beginning to pull down cooler air from the north. Good deal of dry weather coming up tomorrow. There will be further showery uh, bursts across uh, northern parts of the country to begin with. And then maybe a few showers developing in the south and the southwest of uh, England and Wales as well. But again, scrape the barrel really to find something to talk about. The main point is that it's going to be a mostly dry day and there'll be a mix of sunny spells and variable cloud. Could be both dense fog patches around to begin with. They should go uh, quite quickly. Still fairly warm in the south, not quite as warm as today, but even so, temperatures around 15 or 16 degrees. But from the Midlands northwards, it will be feeling cooler tomorrow, with temperatures ranging from around 8 to 14 Celsius from Scotland down to Midlands, which is closer to where we should be at this time of the year. 
Now, Friday sees a continuation of the high pressure fest, so it remains very dry and fine. The difference is that the air around this ridge has now come from the northwest, so even in the south, you'll feel the difference. We probably start on quite a chilly note on Friday morning, but there should be plenty of sunny spells, and essentially, we're going to keep it dry through most of the day with uh, sunny spells and variable amounts of cloud. A little bit of showery rain coming to the far north of Scotland by day's end. Temperatures will be cooler on Friday, so we end the week with maximums probably from around 7 to 14 degrees Celsius north to south, which is back much closer to where you would expect the temperatures to be in late October. Into uh, the weekend, and what we find is that uh, high pressure pulls further out to the west, allows a weather system to come down from the northwest on Saturday. Uh, so I think uh, southern areas start Saturday with mostly dry conditions and sunny spells. In the north, it'll be cloudier, quite a lot of cloud across Scotland and Northern Ireland, and there will be showery outbreaks of rain as well. Through the day, we find that area of cloud and very light showers drifting southwards across England and Wales as brighter skies return to Scotland and Northern Ireland, and it will be as these brighter skies return to Scotland and Northern Ireland that the wind begins to pull in from an actual northerly. We begin to get northerly winds coming in by the end of Saturday, which will be quite a lot colder. So with that cloudy, showery weather, temperatures probably around 14, 15, 16 degrees, still fairly mild. But in the north, behind that band of cloud and showers, it will be turning colder. So temperatures may drop across Scotland through the day and finish up at around 7 or 8 degrees at best, with the wind starting to turn into the north. That band of cloud and showers will pull away overnight, Saturday into Sunday, and that turns the wind into the north. So on Sunday, we're bringing down a proper northerly wind, albeit still with high pressure in control. So we may have a few showers running down the east coast. They might be a bit wintry across northern and eastern parts of Scotland, but there'll be rain showers elsewhere down the east coast. Uh, and the bulk of the country will be dry, actually, on Sunday, with uh, pretty decent sunny spells coming through. The main difference will be the feel. It's going to be much colder on Sunday, with temperatures ranging from just uh, 6 to 12 degrees Celsius, uh, north to south across the country, a little bit colder than average. And on Sunday night, as this ridge of high pressure topples down across the country, we could well have our first widespread frost of the season. So on Monday, uh, you may well wake up to a widespread frost, but there will be really good sunny spells. Uh, Monday itself will be a mostly dry day under high pressure, although our weather system will push into the northwest later on. So we start off with a widespread frost and plenty of sunshine on Monday. England and Wales keeps it dry uh, with sunny spells, but Scotland and Northern Ireland turns cloudier uh, with showery outbreaks of rain moving in from off the Atlantic during the course of Monday afternoon. Temperatures will be quite cold on Monday, just 6 to 11 degrees Celsius, probably turning a little bit milder later on as that cloud and rain pushes through Scotland and Northern Ireland. And then we'll pick up the storyline beyond the 5D forecast period uh, in today's second video update. It looks like we might get some more northerly winds later next week. Find your time with charts from weather outlook. So plenty of dry weather coming up today. Still very mild down in the south, a little bit cooler up in the north. Thursday, again, looking mostly dry. Probably quite a lot of cloud. Watch out for mist and fog patches to begin with. Plenty of sunshine on Friday, but temperatures take a little bit of the drop. Then we bring cloud and showers down across the country on Saturday. As that clears away, we open the door to a northerly wind for Sunday. So Sunday will be quite a cold feeling day, especially so in the north with a few showers running down the east coast. Monday may well start off with a widespread frost. There should be a lot of dry weather, although cloud and showery outbreaks of rain might develop across Scotland and Northern Ireland through the course of Monday afternoon. As I say, we'll pick up the storyline beyond that in today's uh, second video coming up this afternoon. And uh, I reckon we'll be looking out for northerly winds in that second update. So, in summary, we're going to have uh, mostly dry five days coming up. Starting off very mild in the south, if not warm, but turning progressively cooler. So, we finish up the five-day forecast period on quite a cold note. And there could be a widespread frost on Monday morning. 
Right, come back for today's second video update later on. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.